What's going on, my Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. Modding tips of the day. Let's get into it. But before I do, let's take a look at my inbox. So I've got two pending friend requests from Isaac, the Order of Exegol. That's pretty cool. And then Stevo, Matlas, Matlas 314th. So guys, in the comment section, explain those guild names and your Galaxy Heroes name. So I would like to accept them, but it says my ally cap has been reached. I didn't even know you could do that. So I'm going to keep them in my inbox and I'll go, try to go through my allies and try to get them accepted. But let's get into those modding tips of the day. So we're just going to do one tune at a time and we're going to go over the most important mods. So the cross and the triangle. So with Darth Vader, all top meta has a modded for crit damage, crit chance. You know, you want him to crit and you want him to crit hard. On the cross, it has got to be potency. So potency to land all those dots, you know, for Sith Eternal, you have to have high potency. I went into Sith Eternal with a 70% potency and couldn't land anything. Everything was just resisted. I was able to look at Arnold's mods on his Vader and he has 99% potency and he was able to do the counter pretty easily. So I'm going to try it now with 93%. I hope I face a Sith Eternal pretty soon and then I'll let you know if I need to raise that any more. So the secondaries, on a potency cross, you should have offense, offense percentage, crit chance, and speed. You should not have to worry about health, protection, defense, tenacity, none of that. Your Vader should uh, go pretty quickly and he should take out the other team pretty quickly. So you have to, if you have to worry about survivability, the match has gone wrong. So on this here, this is not an end game mod to me. I would probably sell it. This is garbage because of the speed. I took a chance to roll, 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 and to try to get the speed up roll. It didn't move once. It stayed at 9 when I got it to 15. The defense is garbage. I don't even need it. So it does have offense. and It does have very high crit chance, but I will be swapping this out. So we want to look for that. Offense, offense percentage, crit chance, speed. That would be an awesome mod. Okay, and now in the triangle. So for the algorithm for this to hit really hard, it has got to be crit damage. That's how I'm doing over 2 million damage in squad arena. So it's got to be crit damage. And of course, in the secondaries, you want to have offense, crit chance, potency, speed. If that defense was potency, this would be a god tier mod. And I would keep that 9 speed and try to work with it because the 9 speed is garbage. But it's got good offense. It's got great crit chance. If that defense was potency, it would be amazing. So that crit damage gets Vader topped out at 222%. Potency is 93%. Crit chance is at 103%. His crit chance as high as you possibly can. So nothing else needs to be here. Now I understand that when you're coming up in the game, you might want to mod for survivability. But Vader is OP in early game too. You just gotta mod him correctly for potency. And if you can get just two things, do potency and crit chance. Vader's damage will stack with Merciless and how many dots you put out there. So you could even do four crit chance, two potency, or four potency, two crit chance, you know, early on, you know, just to get his potency, his crit chance as high as you can. Nothing else really matters. You know, the speed you can work on with putting Empire and Sith with him. So of course, Speed is the way of the game. So we'll just say speed, crit chance, potency. That would be amazing. So that's been modding tips of the day for Vader. Hope that was helpful. Blast that like button if you enjoyed it. Until next time, Darth Kimchi signing out.